hello guys what's up what's good now how you guys doing it's been a while and this i know it's been a while i did a video content relating to this youtube channel and damn it's not easy i've been so busy with my life like in school i'm a student right you guys know i'm a student so i've been busy with my life and reading my books and other things but i because i'm actually graduating next year by the grace of god I'm starting to I'm planning to start out again and let's see how it goes. So um I might cut six hundred pips trading gold. I think it was the last two weeks, yes, last two weeks. Okay, I will show you the chart. The chart is very simple. I will show you the chart. But for now let's just talk about life, yeah. Life as regards to trading. Yeah, life as regards to trading. You know trading is actually crazy as everybody knows trading is a crazy game so we should just like yeah so we should just like in everything we are doing we should just we should just be focused and whether there's result there's no result we should just keep on doing it because it's consistency we always beat um mastery in the sense that someone that is consistent and doing one thing over and over and again even though it's not like it's not the best at it. They always come out being the best later with time. Time is always the factor. It's always the determining factor to like know how good you are in something or not. So that's just it. So um, like and subscribe to my channel, please. Just like and subscribe for one, two, three, four, five. Just five seconds. Easy to like and subscribe to this channel, please. I'm begging you, please please help me grow my channel back i was actually at 400 subscribers before because i was not active so people unsubscribe on my channel and it's fine but i'm back here again let's see how it goes so um first of all um okay i will share with the video i will share the sorry not the video oh this is youtube thing i started again okay i will share my screen now on how I cost 500 pips, I mean 600 pips, there are back. So it's actually 200, but it's, I close at 600 to trace back to 600. So I just say 600 pips on oh, good. So that will be that for that one. Then, um, let's talk about life. Seriously, the world is changing right now, and I need you to actually flow with the change. You cannot be the trend that's the truth you cannot be the trend but you can actually flow with the trend in such a way that it will improve and it will improve your life and you will see progress with time so if you are new to this channel just like and subscribe like and subscribe let's go to the chats all right guys so this is the trade as you can see you can see the trade so this is the trade you see it that's about um 40 pips to plus for about um 700 and something 700 and i think 790 pips yeah that's it 790 pips so how did i get this trade um the price was going up it was going up this is it let me replay it yeah the price was actually so this is the trade the price was actually going up and that was my point of resistance right there so um that was my point of resistance right there so you can see it so once the price tap into it the price actually tap into it then it gives this bearish engulfing candle as you can see so that was on a friday close that was the previous week close it gave this bearish engulfing candle so what was i looking for in, on monday i just waited for the price to retrace up to 50 percent of that candle as you can see and that deck gets my confirmation to enter this trade right there and put my stop loss there so i went to a smaller time frame i went to a smaller time frame I went to a smaller time frame. This is my smaller time frame. I went to my 15 minutes. And if you notice what is there, it was um ah it's gonna be foul. I 
okay this is it this is the 15 minutes time frame and you can see it okay, this is the 15 minute time frame please let me zoom in and see if it's going to be clear yeah okay so i just waited for this pullback into if let me make it larger according to um ict when there's a change in trend you have to wait for the price for your entry you have to wait for the price to get it on to any of the institutional point of reference for it to like drop so what i was waiting for let me make it bigger i think it's not big enough so if there's there's something like i'll call it a breaker block the last bullish candle before this impulsive move the last bullish candle the last bullish candle here before this impulsive move to the downside yeah, that's where i was waiting for price to return in and how did i take my trade here and put my stop loss here i went to the one minute time frame i went to the one minute time frame so this is the one minute time frame that will be far ago that will be far away sorry it's a far ago english that'll be far away but let's let me let's let me look for it so we justify everything uh what day was that if sorry i don't want this video to be long but it's getting long already i'm just looking for that trade back oh i can't even check it here because i'm not using trading view premium i'm not using trading view premium but i went to the smaller time frame what was i looking for let me use this as an example the price was creating higher low higher high higher low higher high like that so what i looked for in the smaller time frame was this i look for it a um like price taking out a previous low something like this if you can see it yeah if you can see this now i look for, i waited for price to take out a previous low like this it's a impossible move and i waited for it to come back in inside that breaker block of the 15 minute time frame so once it got when i saw a structure like this on one minute time frame, inside the breaker block of the 15 minute time frame, so i took my entry somewhere like this and i placed my stop loss above this at like 40 pips and i went back to the four hours time frame i went back to the four hours time frame to like target the previous low and that this is the previous low if you can see it this is the previous low oh i've shrink this thing too much so i just target and uh, targeted the previous low of the four hours time frame this is the four hours time frame so you can see it so i targeted the previous low which is this which is Uh, the previous law of the first time which is this the one that created the bullish move so it was this so this was how i was targeting but once price got there it did not come back so that's where i was targeting this is the trade this when i saw that thing inside the breaker block in 15 minutes from around there i just targeted this low on the forward and in a day it never like it was in a day it happened the drop happened in a day just on a monday before i think before four o'clock nigerian time this move already happened so i just got this and it was i was expecting to break down but it didn't break down when it started retracing so i closed it around here and i told my um community to, to close out so that was how i caught the trade this is the trade here it's it's a very nice trade it was a very nice trade a very simple and nice trade the best way to even trade is make your trading um stuff simple don't don't like compound trading analysis just make it simple and take risk that you know that you can afford to lose that's the very easiest way to get trading so this is how we're able to catch 800 pips in a day all right we'll okay, see you guys like and subscribe to my channel don't forget like and subscribe if you want the broker like if you want the broker i use deriv and xnet but i prefer deriv to xnet because of deriv provides financial um 
market and also synthetic markets and you can also trade futures like gold there too so trading gold is actually very simple if you understand the movement of markets so that's it that's it i actually call the signal to my group so let's ride let's enjoy ourselves till next time guys subscribe to my channel please subscribe 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 all right guys see you love you bye